Hey everyone, a lot of you will know we have a site full of team comps for TFT, but we also do these expert video guides to take it one step further. You can find all of our comps for set 5 on our website and all the information like spatulas, which is linked down below. So the comp aims to allow Kale to become the sole hyper carry of the team. She's going to achieve it by ascending throughout the fight, and because of that, the rest of the team's function is really just there to store time for Kale. This comp is a default leveling comp, so you get a little bit stronger at 7, but you roll most of your gold at level 8 for that Kale. We actually do recommend as well for this comp to try and fast level 8 if you can. This will allow you to find your hyper carry Kale as well as other important units like Tarek, Garen, and Kindred before everybody else. Ideally, during a fast 8, you will go to level 8 at 4-3 just before the carousel or at 4-5 just after. So a full level 8 team then is going to be Kale, Garen, Kindred, Rel, Tarek, Lux, Nautilus, and Leona. Your best chance to win with this comp is to be able to hit that Kale 2 star along with the rest of your team. Having perfect Kale items is also really important if you want to take that first place. And this might seem pretty basic, but it's a very hard and expensive team to complete. So that should be your main goal. You do have a couple of options for tweaking the comp as well though, so you can choose to go to 6 redeemed with this team, but doing so may sacrifice a little bit too much frontline. If you're able to hit level 9, it becomes much easier to just slot in, but at level 8 for example, before you find Garen and Kindred, you can run Aatrox and Syndra and use that as kind of a transition with 6 redeemed. You can also put in Draven over something like Garen to allow you to have 2 Legionnaire, which can be useful on its own anyway, but also having a secondary carry if you have the items can be great. We do recommend you focus on having the best frontline possible and having Kale do most of the work, but that means you could also slot in Mordekaiser if you'd prefer that frontline. You do actually have a lot of spatula options as well. The rest of these is going to be your redeemed. This is very easy as well because it naturally bumps up your comp to 5 redeemed and then you can hit 6 easily by adding in a unit like Varus or Aatrox by replacing Garen. Legionnaire Emblem is also extremely useful and pretty easy to fit in. You can simply place this on a unit like your Kindred and have another buff your Kale without having to change anything at all. Ironclad is also really strong as you'll be able to hit 3 Ironclad at level 8. You can also use this item to replace Nautilus with a unit of your choosing, kind of like Draven for Legionnaire, but if you're not playing against a lot of attack damage comps like Aphelios, it's going to be less valuable. So while the comp does use a ton of great spatcher items, not so much with your Shadow Spatchers. You can make something like a Cavalier and place it on Garen and Tarik, but it isn't going to be game changing. Now let's go into our Shadowed item. So our Shadow Hand of Justice is a very strong damage item on a lot of carries, and it just so happens to be one of Kale's best items. The important thing is that it guarantees that Kale will have some form of healing, unlike regular Hand of Justice, which is 50-50, and the downside isn't even that bad with the Shadow version because you deal AoE damage, and you will just blast an entire team pretty quickly and keep turning it back on. Your Shadowed Rage Raid is also very good on Kale as you want her attacking as fast as possible as soon as possible. The one downside is that you will need some form of healing on her or else she might just kill herself, especially without Legionnaire, but thankfully we have that Shadowed Hand of Justice. Now a Shadow Spear of Shoujin is great because you have lots of units with strong abilities that aren't there to deal damage at all. This item can easily go on someone like Kindred, Tarek or Lux to provide a lot more utility and stall for the team. Lastly, we have our Shadow Zephyr. Now, this item is a bit scarier to use than regular Zephyr as the duration is longer, but the enemy will deal more damage when they come back. But stalling is the main idea behind this comp, and if you can stall the enemy carry long enough, chances are that Kale is just going to win. Now, we're going to move into our item section, and our main carry, of course, is going to be Kale. So, she really wants an attack speed item like our Ginzu's or the Shadowed version. Then, after that, some form of healing like a Hand of Vengeance, Hand of Justice, or Hexic Gunblade. And lastly, a defensive item like Guardian Angel goes a really long way. We don't recommend Quicksilver just because she has the Verdant trait alongside Tarek already. A good three item example would be the Shadowed version of Hand of Justice, a Shadowed Rage Blade, and then Guardian Angel. This comp doesn't actually have many other carries, but you will want to be building a lot of defensive items, and Garen, Tarek, and Rel are going to be your three main tanks. You want to put any extra defensive items like Dragon's Claw, Bramble Vest, Titan's Resolve, Gargoyle Stoneplay, anything like this onto them. Redemption is also a really good item that can go on any three of these units, which will help your team stall out even longer. Now, if you also have any AP items, you can place these onto Garen. Things like Spell Crit or Death Cap are really solid, and he will deal a ton of damage. So now let's go stage by stage and break down the strategy behind the team. So the general idea is your default leveling or fast leveling to 8. With almost any of these comps, you can start the game with just about any units and look to either win streak or lose streak. But we do recommend starting out with the Varus or Vayne as your item holder for Kale and using Redeemed or Ranger around them. 
So during stage three, you level up to six at three, two and build the strongest board that you can with the units that you find. You can roll down a little bit if you want to be aggressive or want to stabilize, but you really want to make sure you maintain a streak and have enough gold at level eight to find Kale. During stage four, then you level up to seven at four, one, build the strongest team that you can, but try not to roll if you can afford not to. If you have been managing your economy properly, then you should be able to hit level eight at four, five with around 30 or 40 gold left over. If you're really low on health here, this is the time to roll down and find that KO and make that big move into the team. But if you're still fairly healthy, wait until stage 5 to roll down. So at 5-1 then, you roll down if you haven't already to find that KO and your other upgrades. If you're on the verge of dying, keep rolling until you hit your upgrades. But once you do hit them, try to look to go to level 9 to fit in another strong unit. For this comp, there's only a few things you should keep in mind for positioning. Keep Kale and Tarek together so that Kale can benefit from the Verdant buff and place Kindred closer to Kale so that she's within their ability. Lastly, you put Lux in the opposite corner so she can hit Kale with her shield ability. This positioning will be really good against most teams like Normal, Assassins or Rangers, but against something like Velkos, you might want to consider swapping sides or moving Kale and Tarek more towards the center of the rectangle formation. This is also a good early game example of what you might play and how you position it. So that will give you everything you need to know to win with our KL comp. And remember, you can follow along with this guide in-game with our TFT overlay. So make sure you download that and bring it with you into your next game.